Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the third level is community. So community again is group of populations of different species living in the same area at a particular time. So it's like again a level ahead. So it's like group of populations in a particular area at a particular time. So here it, it is not only one type of species which we are talking about. This could be different type of species. For example, think of a lake. So inside the la lake you have fish community. So fish community doesn't necessarily mean that all the fishes belong to the same species. So they might be of different species. They might have different fooding habits, they might have different shapes, they might have different appearance. So they might be very much different from each other. They might not belong to the same species, but all of them belong to the same community. So basically, maybe they belong to one species, they belong to one species. So this fish will have its own population where all the fishes of these types are like present. So all these population of fishes grouped together which are living in the same lake at a particular time that would constitute a community. Now in a community it has been observed that the population share common natural resources. For example, the population of this fish, so let's call these fish cat population 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let's say the population of fish number 2 share the same resources for example the same water the same uh, dissolved oxygen so whatever is available in the in the lake is like same for all of them so all the populations are utilizing the common resources and they also interact with each other now when we say interact this interaction could be of many types this interaction could be an interaction where the two populations or the two organisms are helping each other it could be an interaction where the organisms are harming each other it also could be an interaction when where one organism is eating up the other organism so this interaction can be of any type but since all these different populations are living in the same area so obviously there is interaction between them so this constitutes a community and finally the fourth level which is a biome so a biome are large areas on earth with similar climate, plants and animals. So when we talk about biomes, we not only talk about different species of animals, we talk about animals, plants and even the climate. That is, we are even considering the non-living components of the environment like uh, air, water, soil, etc. So climate, plants and animals, all these things together constitute a biomes. Now, uh, uh, many of you might think that biomes are similar to ecosystems, but actually they are not. Now, multiple ecosystems can exist within one biome. So, biomes are like at an, at an, even, at an even larger scale. So, ecosystems. Now, let me give you some examples of ecosystem. A forest is an ecosystem. Uh, a pond is an ecosystem. A lake is an ecosystem. Ocean is an ecosystem. Garden is an ecosystem. So these are all ecosystems where you have different types of organisms living together happily interacting with each other. But many such ecosystems together exist within a biome. So biome is like a, yeah, a bigger area. Now different types of biomes exist under which sub biomes also exist. So biomes are so big that within them even sub biomes can also exist and within the sub biomes exist the ecosystems. So it is something like this biomes are so big that under the biomes you have sub biomes and then under the sub biomes you can have many ecosystems. So that's how uh, it is. So there exist different types of biomes. So let us look at some examples of biomes. Now there are two broad categories of biomes. One is terrestrial biomes and the other one is uh, aquatic biomes. So terrestrial biome is obviously anything which is on land. So examples of terrestrial biomes could be a desert. So desert is an example of a terrestrial biome. So desert is like a vast stretch of land and within the desert you might have small small ecosystems. Again, another example of a terrestrial biome could be a grassland. So grasslands are again huge stretch of land, huge stretch of area. 
Other examples could be the rainforests, the temperate forests, rainforests which is not like one single small forest. It's like a huge stretch of forest within which you have small small stretches of forests which are like ecosystems. So rainforest, temperate forests, taiga, these are all examples of terrestrial biomes. Now when you talk about aquatic biomes, so again in aquatic biomes uh, you can think of the marine biomes, maybe the sea, freshwater biomes, you can have the estuaries, you can have the coral reef, so you can have the estuaries as example, you can have the oceans as example, you can also have fresh water as an example of aquatic biome. So these are all examples of biomes because they are like I mean large areas with similar climate plants and animals so when you talk about a desert that entire desert has almost the sim similar climate it has similar types of plants as well as animals similarly when you talk about a grassland so that entire grassland would have similar type of climate plants and animals so these are biomes now you understand the concept of ecology that why ecology exists at all these levels at organism level where, where one organism is interacting with another organism at population level where a population of organized organism is interacting with population of another organism again the third level would be community where different species of organisms are interacting with each other and the fourth level is biome where organ different organisms are interacting with other animals plants and even with the non biotic components now what is the importance of biomes like what what advantage does it provide so it is a home for a lot of aquatic organisms so when you talk about the aquatic biomes a huge variety of fishes aquatic plants other aquatic organisms live there provide oxygen to the atmosphere so these biomes they contain huge number of plants so when you look at the grasslands or the forests they have huge huge number of plants and these plants plants take in carbon dioxide right so the plants take up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and they give out oxygen to the atmosphere so that's how it maintains the right balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so that is also very important it helps to regulate the climate for example the, the rainfall floods etc can also be regulated due to the presence of plants so biomes are those areas where huge number of plants are present and that's how it is beneficial to the environment thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.